Hello everyone, uh, Stepan here. I have to say that the Altibox Norway tournament hasn't been going perfectly well for, Fa for Fabiano Caruana so far, and uh, I'm sorry about that, of course. After three rounds, Magnus Carlsen is in clear first, and Fabiano Caruana is sharing last place. So, definitely not a, a great prelude to, uh, to the World Championship match, but it's only been three games, and Fabiano has a defeat from round one. Uh, from the game with Magnus and two draws afterwards and Magnus Carlsen won the first round against Caruana drew in, the, in round two with the black pieces and now with the white pieces he was facing Levon Aronian who hadn't been having uh, a perfect 2018 one might say he had a horrible candidates tournament and afterwards didn't uh, uh, manage to, to do any, anything significant didn't have any significant results and I think he was expecting to do uh, well here in the box. So, um, Magnus opened with pawn to e4. We have e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, the royal Lopez, And Levon Aronian goes for the uh, Berlin defense with knight to f6. And we do have castles, knight takes e4. And now, of course, the most common move leading to the Berlin endgame is uh, pawn to d4. And after this, uh, you, you get the Berlin endgame. And... Uh, this is what I don't think uh, I don't think Magnus wanted to go for this, even though he is positionally extremely strong and especially in the end games, perhaps he wanted to mix things up. So after knight to e4, he went for rook to e1, continuing the Rio Gambit uh, line, the Rio Gambit accepted, and not going for the queen exchange. And now they play a couple of pawn, uh, a couple of moves of uh, mainline theory. Knight to d6, that's the best move. We have to save the knight, of course. Uh, knight takes e5, getting back the pawn bishop to e7. It's not, of course, uh, a good idea to take the knight and allow a check, because you are just weakening your king far too much, so bishop e7. Bishop f1 is the best move, believe it or not, and that's because of back rank issues. Uh, now knight takes e5, rook takes e5, and black castles. Now, you might think that white doesn't have anything in the position, and I believe he doesn't. However, it's... Uh, far more complicated than the Berlin endgame. And since Aronian went for the Berlin, this is, I think, the most plausible option if White wants to go for a small nagging edge and uh, winning some time in the middle game with small incremental advantages. Here, uh, Magnus plays d4. You, do, you don't have to play d4. It's, it's just the most common move, expanding and opening up your bishop. You could play d3 as well, uh, restraining the knight, but d4 is much more active since the knight is misplaced on d6 anyway. This is not a natural square for the knight. Bishop to f6, uh, the most common move. Rook to e1, uh, knight to f5, double attacking the, the d4 pawn. And now, uh, usually people play c3. And this, is, this has been played about 200 times. And this is slightly more solid and uh, engine approved however after knight to f5 magnus doesn't defend he plays d5 and this is the second most common move however if you aren't careful this pawn can easily become a liability in the position and it can become hard to defend now we have rook to e8 and magnus exchanges rook e8 queen takes e8 and queen to d3 uh, centralizing the queen of course uh, you can now see why the bishop is uh, useful on f1 uh, preventing the checks and of course this is now attacking the knight the best move is d6 opening up the bishop and uh, defending the knight knight to d2 preparing to, to transfer the knight to f3 and now a blunder by Levan Aronian I mean it doesn't immediately lose but it's a completely logical move he plays bishop to g5 what he should have played here was c6 immediately challenging the overextended d5 pawn and trying to get hanging pawns in the center on on c6 and d6 which could be a strength and a, liabil and a liability at the same time but i think they would be more so a strength than a weakness but after bishop to g5 uh, this move simply allows knight to f3 and an exchange of bishops which is of course favorable for magnus because his bishop hadn't moved yet and this bishop moved two times or more so this doesn't make any sense so uh, from the bishop moved from f8 to to e7 from e7 to f6 from f6 to g5 and now after knight to f3 and uh, bishop takes c1 this bishop moved five times magnus's bishop didn't move a single time and now after rook to c rook takes c1 magnus has virtually won four mp and uh, magnus is four mp up so if you think about it logically, why move your bishop four times just to be able to exchange it and to improve the positioning of the white knight? It doesn't make any sense. But since Levon Aronian is uh, 
a chess genius, he must have had uh, a secret plan or some idea behind that, but I just couldn't figure it out watching the game. Uh, now bishop to d7 was played, uh, uh, developing the bishop, I'm sorry, c6 could have been played as well, once again trying to break up uh, the central control uh, from, the, from the d5 pawn. Rook to e1, challenging the queen, queen d8, queen to c4, uh, now uh, almost preventing c6, but not really. Uh, perhaps trying to play uh, knight to d4, exchanging the knights. Now g6, uh, trying to play knight to g7, h3, knight g7 is played, which is an inaccurate move, but I think it's justified in this position because your knight is uh, pretty loose on the f5 square. Rook to e3, a5, a4, you have to stop any further expansion and prevent b4, of course. Knight to e8, this is a, a weird move. I. I think he was trying to transfer the knight back to f6 and uh, try to attack e5, d5, I'm sorry, but it just takes too much time. And after queen to d4, uh, he just brings the knight back. Now, if uh, if knight to f6 is played in this position, uh, I don't think that the knight is loose or anything, but uh, I think it's too risky to, to maneuver the knight to f6. So 11 actually brings it back to g7, which isn't such a bad move according to, g to the engine's knight to e8 was a mistake. And now Magnus decides to attack because 11 once again wasted three moves for nothing. So 90, uh, knight to g7, knight e8, knight to g7. Those were here his three out of the last four moves. So 11 has already wasted seven moves for nothing in this game. And you can see why Magnus has a superior position. g4 is played, uh, trying to exploit the fact that 11 lost time. And of course, when your opponent loses time, you have to attack. c6 now doesn't really work because of c4. You can still have a strong center. If you take, uh, probably queen takes, and you have a strong queen and uh, and the permanent weakness on d6. But taking with the pawn would be good as well. Knight to e8, uh, queen to f4 is played, and this is now the beginning of the end. And Levon is uh, about to resign in a couple of moves, and uh, Magnus's peace activity is far too superior, and the advantage is now insurmountable even though there aren't that many pieces on the board, uh, because first of all, Levon's rook is out of the game. Levon's knight is clearly misplaced. It doesn't defend uh, the squares it needs to defend. The bishop has no targets and uh, all of Magnus's pieces are absolutely perfect. King to g7 is played by Levon. And now we have rook to b3, challenging the b pawn, and after rook b8, knight to g5, attacking the f7 pawn, and now this has to be defended. And here the best move, of course, was queen to f6. After queen to f6, uh, let's say queen to d2, declining a trade, h6 chasing the knight away, knight to e4 can be played, queen to e5 saving the queen, and now after bishop to g2, of course white is still better, but the position isn't clearly losing, because white did overextend on all sides of the board, and those pawns could become a liability. But after knight to g5, Levon Aronian doesn't play queen to f6, he plays knight to f6, and this is now just... This is a completely losing blunder, because now Magnus simply plays rook to f3. And now how do you defend? Uh, here, uh, queen to e7 uh, could be played, uh, trying to centralize the queen and play queen to uh, rook to e8, trying to get a battery along the e-file to exchange some pieces. But Levon here plays h6, and after h6, a simple winning move by Magnus, knight to e4. And now, of course, this is uh, seemingly offering a trade of knights, but he doesn't, he never it intended to recapture the knight. If knight e4, queen e4, then the position is equal. But knight e4, queen f7 is completely winning for white, and that's exactly what happened. So, Levon took the knight. There's nothing else to do, you can't defend. Knight takes e4, and now queen takes f7. King to h8, of course, the only move. Queen takes g6, and here Levon Aronian resigned. Uh, I will just show you some, some sample variations. The best move would be to give up the knight with queen to g5, trying to relieve some of the pressure. And after queen takes knight, then of course white is simply winning. Even though uh, the position isn't over yet, because a move such as h5 could be risky if Magnus makes a couple of mistakes in a row, but of course it's winning. Uh, and if he doesn't give up the knight, if after queen takes g6 he plays knight takes g5, then this is just immediately losing. After queen takes h6, king to g8, and rook to f6. Uh, you have to, you would have to uh, play this move. First of all, the knight is loose, there's no way to defend it. 
Uh, so you have to play this, give up the knight. And here the best move is queen takes f6. And here you are playing a queen against rook with two pawns and you are completely winning. So, uh, uh, a great victory for Magnus, but I have to say that Levan Aronian defeated himself. Uh, let me just go back to this position. So, okay, uh, bishop to e7 is theory. Uh, bishop to f6 is theory. So those bishop moves are justified, but in this position, after uh, knight to d2, instead of playing the move c6, trying to activate and uh, gain activity in the center, he played bishop to g5, moving the bishop for the for the third time and uh, simply justifying Magnus's move knight to d2. And after knight f3, bishop c1, rook c1, uh, Levon gave up the bishop, which he moved four times and that's just a bad plan and i think that's why he lost he gave magnus too much time and if you give magnus one tempo uh, too much then you will probably lose if you give him four then you are definitely losing okay uh, so magnus is in clear first with two and a half out of three definitely uh definitely a threat to fabiano caruana and he has to think about it now already because he is only at one point after three rounds in last place and i hope that in round four caruana can score his first win Okay, uh, thanks very much for watching, I hope you like the game and stay tuned for more chess. Thanks very much, bye!